breaking new developments in a deadly KCK shooting. One young man died in that shooting, which then led to a crash near 78th Street and I-70. KCTV5's Kelly Taylor is live now with the very latest. Kelly. Ellen, Brad, police wrapped up here at this busy intersection about an hour ago. But while they're investigating, people who knew the victim are hoping justice will be served. It was a somber morning in Kansas City, Kansas, as friends and loved ones gathered near 78th Street, just under Interstate 70. And it's not fair that other mothers have to endure the pain of losing their child because of the hands of somebody else. It's not right. A young man crashed his car into an SUV after shots were fired into his vehicle. It happened around 915 Friday morning. Officers say this maroon car and a silver car were headed southbound on 78. They were both stopped at a stoplight a few blocks away when someone in the silver car began shooting into the maroon car. Then the suspect's car drove away. These people are eating, sleeping, bathing, breathing somewhere and they, they, they're sheltered. And you should know what is in your household. Morning, noon, and night, you know what your kids are doing, you know what they're capable of doing. Police say this type of violence is hard to control. You never know when, if two people that, that don't get along run into each other, it's very random, it can happen at any time. And unfortunately, if somebody wants to start shooting, this, this is what happens. And you put a lot of, lot of people in danger um, besides the, just the two people involved. Officers say they're working on a description of the shooter. They're also looking for the passenger in the victim's car who ran away. Well, I really hope they do catch the people that did this. I would say it was more than one because it's normally, normally more than one person that does these things. Earlier, a police search near 50th and Dixie caused the Turner School District to go on lockdown. Police thought that was a suspect who was involved, but they later learned that it was the passenger from the victim's car. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.